introducing the Yihil, a secret civilization that is known to mankind as Yihil. They are the first race to appear in the galactic civilizations and are the ruling race of the galactic government. They are based on the ancient Asari, one of the more ancient races in the galactic order. They are the least powerful race of the galactic races, and the one with the least mobility and maneuverability. They are also the most powerful race of the religions. The Ahil are a hybrid race of beings that came into being in the aftermath of the first contact with the universe. They believe themselves to be the ruling race, and are the first species of extraterrestrials to appear in the galactic civilizations. Welcome to 10 Things You Didn't Know About the Yihil that will make you want to know more. 1. The Yihil are a hybrid race of the humanoid species of the extraterrestrial races. 2. The Yihil were among the first to travel the interstellar void in the 13th century, following events in the solar system and Mars in 1362. From 1361 to 1362, the Yihil ships had a number of encounters with other interstellar vessels, including the Thule and the Heliopocene. These were the earliest ships encountered by Yihil ships in interstellar space, and were a major part of the Yihil's interstellar travel plan for interstellar travel. Yihil's primary purpose for interstellar travel was to support human civilization on the other half of the Milky Way. In the end, though, the Yihil have a number of lesser-known features of their own, the most notable being their small size. In ancient times, the Yihil resembled extraterrestrials, though there were many similarities, most notably the fact that the Yihil do not eat humans, and they are not attracted to us. 3. The Yihil have a secret plan to create a civilization that will take over the Milky Way and do away with human civilization entirely. Boris of cites several prominent UFO sightings, including one in 1947, where a group of Yehil visitors approached him and asked about abductions. He recalled that in that year the Soviet government was secretly, secretly building an intelligence base on Earth that could be used by their intelligence services. 4. The Yehil despise humans and are intent on ravaging them with a thermonuclear war abducting and destroying entire races, and secretly ruling over entire interstellar communities. They are an alien race of extraterrestrials that resides in a vast, dark, and mysterious void outside of space. Their purpose is to devour and colonize the entire cosmos. 5. If you meet a Yehil, you should meet him or her and take a journey to the Altar of the Light. This will open up doors to the outside world and open a dimensional portal to the outer edges of the universe. How do you feel about the idea of flying? If we end up flying on top of another planet, are you excited or skeptical about the idea? If not, what does that say about you personally? What makes you decide to do it? If you heal are going to try to survive the coming apocalypse, how are you going to go about it? 6. The last known sighting of a Yihil was by astronomer Gebhardt in 1947, in what is now southern Colorado. His report listed the Yihil, or Yihil Commandos, as four beings who are described to have a powerful presence, and that they inhabit the heavens with a high-energy electromagnetic force. 7. The Yihil can create the physical world some claim, Yihil appeared to be able to survive a planet's temperature change, weather humidity tides, dust storms, and even the physical effects of war. If this theory holds true, then scientists can expect them to emerge from space and colonize other planets in our solar system. Alien visitation is currently under study by the Nase Sokronicles Institute at Arizona State University. 8. The Yihil love the Earth with open eyes and use the knowledge of it to improve their lives. They teach others what to do when they see an opportunity. They also make sacrifices to bring about the survival of the entire population. Their primary purpose is to provide a superior civilization and to spread the word to the entire world that they have found the next greatest civilization. Their next target is the Yihil and they will take the next step 
by producing hybrids that they believe will be superior to the humans in terms of genetic potential. They will produce hybrids of the highest reproductive intelligence, which will be able to survive the future climate conditions. 9. The Yehil think we are aliens. Aliens are thought to be the ancestors of all intelligent life, particularly our own, but their theory has been strongly contested by skeptics. There are many different views as to whether aliens are real or not. One common understanding is that they are just here on Earth to raise human hopes, and the other view is that they are living here on a secret alien spaceship in search of peace, harmony, and well-being. However, the Yahil and other scientists say that the aliens here on Earth are a reflection of the Milky Way, and that humans here on Earth, aliens are real and they never helped NASA. 10. The Yahil won't be around long for Earth. In 2012, scientists spoke with scientists in Hawaii to try and answer a mystery. The Yahil have been secretly developing technology for thousands of years to control the tides in the Earth's oceans. Drivechi said the Yahil are the leader of their race, and they are coming out of hiding to lead humanity to the edge of being colonist. Over the years they have developed technology that will allow them to survive in the present climate conditions. Drivechi argued this technology is coming to be the focus of scientific exploration of the universe and the human species. Thank you for listening about the Yahil podcast and listening to the stories that you're most excited about. Like what you're reading. Check out the Yehil blog, which is here on Amazon, and is a great resource for additional info about Yehil technology.